talk about specific gravity for a little bit. Uh, when we look at densities of materials such as aluminum, which is 2700, which is kilograms per cubic meter, and these are pretty large. We got the density of steel at, uh, shoot, what was that density of steel? Uh, 207860. These are really large numbers. Uh, 7, 8, 60 kilograms per cubic meter, because that's a lot. So what we will do is, to make things more manageable and do it differently than the chemistry people, is that we'll take our object and we'll divide it by the density of water, because water is really nice. So now we end up with 2700 kilograms per cubic meter divided by 1000 kilograms per cubic meter, and then we get a number 2.7. It's a unitless number, and it's in relation to water, and now it's something a little bit more manageable. So we'll use this occasionally. Next, let's do a pressure review. Pressure is force over area. So it's how hard, not necessarily how much force you're applying, it's how much force over how much area. So you could push really, really hard with a very large area and have a low pressure, or you could have a very small force with a very small area a reasonable force with a small area and have a, some pretty high pressure. This is how knives work. So you uh, you make that area very, very small. So well, let's draw it out. So let's say here's a knife, like a big, uh, all right, and so there's your edge. If we look at the edge up here and then we look at an edge, edge on, the edge of a knife actually is very rounded out. So what we do when you go to sharpen it is you just make it, you cut this part off and cut by that part off and make it narrower and narrower, decreasing the area. So the same amount of force gives you more pressure. How do we measure pressure? Well, it's Newton's per square meter because that's what force in area is. However, we named it after this guy named Pascal. He had a pretty cool triangle. Now, let's do some uh, playing with this. Let's say you're in a you were in a giant dive pool down here swimming with nothing because it's in a pool and there's nobody there, and you're down at the bottom and the pressure on you is 1.2 times 10 to the fifth pascals. The area of the back of your hand is 8.4 times 10 to the minus third square meters. How much force is on the on your hand and in what direction? I didn't put that on. Well, here we go. Pressure is force over area. So force is pressure times area. Well, let's multiply it out. So we end up with uh, 1.2 times 10 to the fifth times 8.4 times 10 to the minus thirds can give you your force. You actually end up with something really, really large. I have it written down over here behind the second page of paper. Oh, yes, that turns out to be 1,000 newtons of force. That is, uh, for those of you who don't know, around a lot, about 200 and some pounds. That's a lot of force. But what direction is it in? What directions do fluids push on objects? A fluid pushes perpendicular to the surface. It really is like a, nor it pushes normally. So what does that mean? It's pushing that way, that way, that way, that way. Here's my diver. Oh, it's pushing up on his head. Oh, it's pushing that way. Oh, it's pushing this way. Oh. So on the back of his hand, it's pushing all over the place. So fluids push perpendicular to the to whatever the surface they're up against. So there we go. That's why if you look at his head, it, it looks like it's getting squeezed. I squeeze your head. So to uh, help it out a little bit, you should check out xkcd.com at uh, backslash 1040. And please, somebody tell me what David Bowie and Freddie Mercury are doing down there. <laughs>